hello guys so in this video we will uh, see about our module that is uh, ups uh, shipping carrier integration with odoo so basically uh, in in this module we have provided the functionality to integrate and fetch uh, the live uh, the uh, real time shipping rates for different kinds of ups uh, delivery uh, types they are providing like ground air kind of shipping services so we have integrated uh, these functionalities to odoo and uh, they, uh, it is providing different kind of uh, features uh, key, the key features are like real time shipping rate calculation you can do that fast shipping label from ups to udu you can also do that um, the, uh, it can generate shipping label in uh, pdf and gif format that is basically based on the configuration type that we have selected from the ups configurations as well uh, the sec uh, the different thing is like uh, the fetch order uh, uh, tracking number from ups to udu uh, if you want to also manage multi package shipments then we can also do that um, uh, we, we can also cancel the shipment order uh, at uh, ups side directly from udu and uh, the system will generate uh, live and real time uh, shipment tracking number all right now let's take a look at the module so as you can see that i am already in the sales module and i am going to the configuration part uh, and the shipping methods okay so as you can see that uh, i have already uh, uh, provided the configuration over here uh, in ups next day okay so i have provided uh, uh, like username password shipping number access license uh, access license number so all of the necessary information that is needed from the user uh, uh, from uh, from the ups side okay so we have provided all of these informations uh, um, uh, if uh, i can I, I, I can uh, set different kind of uh, the like pickup type i can also set the packaging type the service type uh, I can also set different kind of uh, package weight unit. I can also set the package uh, size unit, and I can also set the uh, uh, label type like PDF, GIF, or uh, uh, as per the user's choice. Okay. If I want to also merge the PDF label, I can also do that. All right. Uh, uh, regarding to the invoice policy, if I want the calculation based on the estimated cost of the invoices, then I can also uh, enable this option. And if I want uh, uh, real cost, then I can also enable this option. Okay. And the integration level we can set like uh, get rate only and get rate and create shipment. So we can also do that. And this is the part of the configuration. Uh, all of these things is uh, provided over here okay the destination availability we can set like if you want to provide uh, uh, any kind of countries states and zip code range based on the customer addresses so we can also set that and we can provide the description description as well all right now let's uh, move ahead and let's go to the sales orders and let me create a new quotation for you guys okay and you can see that i uh, i have taken the customer over here like uh, robert de costa so in which i have provided uh, the related address the fake address basically so i will just select this customer robert de costa and uh, let me show you so in this respected customer uh, i have uh, provided the address like this way of usa the this is this is a fake address okay and i will take some of the products let's take uh, like uh, product one for let's say five quantities um product two for uh, let's say also five quantities available over here uh, take product three okay so again take let's say five quantity okay and over here let me just save it first of all and over here you can see add shipping button so i will just simply click on add shipping button and we'll select the related shipping carrier ups next day okay all right so based on that based on the real time the, uh, by clicking on this button the system will automatically define me the rate the real time rate okay based on the packages uh, weight uh, based on the product weight and uh, related criteria as per the shipping type i have selected and configured in my ups configuration okay now let's confirm this and let's 
go to the delivery order that is generated over here okay so when i will move to the delivery order i will be able to see in the additional info that is ups next day okay so the weight is also defined now uh, in the uh, related product lines i will just configure uh, the packages uh, let's say over here i am configuring the package like package 3 uh, for five quantities okay and uh, say for here i will select five quantities i will i will write five quantities and uh, here you can see the package type i have selected this package sample and uh, here i have defined the carrier as ups so in this related package type uh, you can also define the height weight length maximum weight if you want to define the barcode also defined for uh, for the package type and the package code you can also define so, okay so all of these things uh, we have uh, i have defined and uh, this thing you can also define from the configuration part as well okay so mm, like this i have defined these things now uh, i have selected this package okay this is the pack 3 okay now i will go to the another product line and i will also select the package let's say package 4 will define the five quantities there also let's confirm this okay and uh, for the line 3 for for product 3 as well i will define another package uh, it is uh, this package configuration scenario is basically depends on the user's choice so according to user's choice and according to their related business flow they can also define their package related flow also okay so as you can see that i have already defined all of these packages okay and now i will ju just simply save this uh, delivery order and we validate that you can see the packages are also there and you can see the tracking number is automatically generated by the system so when i will basically go to the additional info then a unique tracking reference number is already generated if i want i can also cancel that cancel the order so uh, the weight uh, uh, is al also defined the weight for shipping is also defined over here based on the package's weight uh, and when I will click on uh, the tracking, so the system will redirect me to the UPS tracking reference page. And as you can see that it is already a fact tracking number and you know, um, uh, the test environment I am using. So it will not give any information, but if my tracking number will uh, uh, be real and I am, I am using it in the production environment. So it will, it will give me the tracking reference and all, all of the tracking information for my delivery package as well. Okay. So uh, when I will go at the downside over here, so you will be able to see that in my chatter part, the shipment is generated and um, the uh, related label is also generated for UPS. So let me uh, download this. Okay. All right. So when I will open this PDF, so I will be also able to see that this is the one kind of the shipment uh, label that is generated by the system okay so there there were three packages so for three uh, three packages there are different uh, shipment labels are generated by the system automatically okay so you can see that you can see that these shipment labels are there so we can easily use the shipment labels uh, for uh, this ups delivery carrier all right and uh, like this way we will be able to integrate ups delivery carrier with udu system uh, if you uh, thank you so much uh, for watching this video uh, if you will have any kind of query or questions do not hesitate to email us or contact us uh, uh, on our skype id all right so thank you so much once again for watching this video have a nice day bye bye take care